Julian and Sue purchased their 18 hectare hillside property northwest of Masterton near the Tararua Forest Park in 2010. The purchase ended a three year search and it's one they clearly don't regret. They were both working in Wellington at the time, but since the purchase they've gradually moved towards working from home. While they still do some work away, Julian happily says, yes, we are here for the duration, we love it. They have made a deliberate choice to run no stock, letting the Manuka and Kanaka stands regenerate, expand forestry woodlots and plant and nurture fruit and native trees. The award judges were impressed with the couple's approach and noted Julian's determined and innovative work trapping rats and stoats. The judges also appreciated the couple's efforts to combat the severe wind that can hit the property, which is situated at the base of the Tararua Ranges. They wrote, tree crops and vegetable gardens are planted in sheltered clearings and in constructed shelters. You are demonstrating a pragmatic approach to utilising the challenging climate, soil types and land contours in a sustainable way. When the couple bought the property, it was solar powered. Since then, Julian has upgraded the solar technology and built a small hydropower system which fills the gaps on dull days. He has a science background and edits a forestry publication, but obviously relishes the wide range of hands-on outdoor tasks he undertakes on their block. In addition to the main house, there is a guest house and a building which doubles as a large workshop for Julian and art studio for Sue. She says when they moved to New Zealand from the UK in 1996, they didn't envisage ending up where they have. Now her creative work reflects the native birds and bush. We have found we both want to be as close to New Zealand's natural environment as we can, she says. Judges comments, impressive ability to interpret the property's natural potential according to contour, wind and soil conditions. Good demonstration of conservation, habitat and biodiversity gain in transforming poor grazing land into manuka stands. Robust management of plant and animal pests, strategic trapping placements regularly checked, innovative trap modification to increase catch. Considerable involvement in local and Wellington voluntary commitments, associations and groups.